Bill Norman Schwarzkopf. Around the Pentagon, it's being called the mother of all briefings. What are your impressions of Saddam Hussein as a military strategist? <laughs> he is neither a strategist, nor is he schooled in the operational art, nor is he a tactician, nor is he a general, nor is he as a soldier. Other than that, he's a great military man. I want you to know that. Sarcasm, drama, wit, and bravado, he is a commanding presence center stage. If it had been our intention to destroy the country, if it had been our intention to overrun the country, we could have done it unopposed. Intimidating, rumored to have an IQ of 170, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. You ever been in a minefield? No. Because all there's got to be is one mind, and that's intense. But he is a muddy boot soldier devoted to the safety of his troops. The loss of one human life is intolerable to any of us who are in the military. But I would tell you that uh, casualties of that order of magnitude, considering the job that's been done and the number of forces that are involved, is, is, is almost miraculous as far as the late number of casualties. It'll never be miraculous to the families of those people, but it is miraculous. But after weeks of caution and modesty, today was clearly Schwarzkopf's day. How effective was the air ground campaign? I think it's pretty effective myself. I don't know what you all think. Right. Originally, the Pentagon was going to have its own Thank briefing you, after Schwarzkopf. It was canceled. He's a hard act to follow. His boss, Defense Secretary Dick Cheney, says it's that style that has made the war and the warrior such a success. Uh, it's what we've referred to as the don't screw around school of military strategy. <laughs> and, uh, it's a good Jamie Gangel, NBC News, the Pentagon. We'll be back with some final thoughts with Jane Pauley right after this. with all the doomsday scenarios that we've explored over the last seven months about what could go wrong here politically and militarily, almost all of them have been proved wrong. In fact, everything, everything has gone extremely right, beginning with the politics of the alliance and then with what is a total military victory that we're on the verge of here in the Persian Gulf. Yeah, I'd say if it's not too late, I'd unload any stock you had in conventional wisdom, that's for sure. Uh, Tom, can I ask a question? General Schwarzkopf's not going to just fade away. What's his future hold? Well, I think that General Powell, Colin Powell and General Norman Schwarzkopf, who were both uh, officers in Vietnam, have now put the military back in the front rank of the American establishment, and they have to be considered prime political candidates for the future as well. We'll see. Anyhow, tonight, President Bush at 9 Eastern time. That's Nightly News for now. I'm Tom Broker in Kuwait City for Jane Pauley in Washington.